appreciated. Are you in a 12-step program? Fuck no. Because <laughs> what, what you're saying to me right now are things that we talk about cleaning your side of the street. It's a part of the steps, actually, to make amends that, in that way. You know what I mean? It's a part of every religion, though. Yeah. Uh-huh. Every single religion yeah, is the yeah. golden rule is treat others how you want to be treated. Yeah. And if somebody made some mistakes and they came back to you and said, I'm, I apologize. Like if, man, if my mom would apologize to me about some of the things she said to me and did to me, well, I think our dynamic would be a lot stronger. Yeah. You know, you're so right. After 35 years, my mom finally apologized to me two weeks ago for all the shit. It was, it was like an umbrella statement too. It was mm-hmm. like, look, uh, I'm sorry. And it took 35 years, but I didn't realize that's all I needed to hear. Something so simple. Just and it relieved me. It was like this thing. My chest felt light again. And all of a sudden, I could feel myself treating her differently in 35 years. Mm-hmm. Is, is your mom not a part of your life right oh, now? Oh, no. My mom is definitely a part of my life. Yeah. I, I had to realize that she, has, she had a brain injury. She has mental illness. That, you know, I might not ever get an apology from her, but I need to realize, you know, how I treat her might be how if I have children or I adopt kids or if somebody decides they want to take care of their that's how they're going to treat me. Yeah. You know, whatever you give, that's what you get back. So um, like in my book, I talk about like hopefully I make enough money where I can get her out the mental institution, get her in a place and hire other people to deal with her ass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. and I don't have to deal with it and that is what I have done like I got her the best nurses the best doctors I'm watching her transform having realizations writing letters about the guilt that she's felt about not raising her children about putting all this on me she says not apologized but what she has done is like the one thing I've been like you know doing all so I wonder like a lot of times am I doing all this just for her approval mm. and kind of yeah yeah. yeah, and, you know, the first time I ever was on television doing stand-up was Bill Bellamy's Who's Got Jokes, and I showed it to her, and she was in an institution, and she her response was, my coochie makes stars. And I thought to myself, <laughs> this is going to be the closest thing I get to. I'm proud of you. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, and, yeah, then, yeah. and that was, what, the 14, 15 years ago? And then recently, you know, I took her to the premiere of Night School, and she got to see Kevin Hart and all these people, you know, saying that they love me, they appreciate me, that they're glad that, you know, she's my mom. Like, you know, they're giving her love. And at the end of the night, she gave me the biggest hug, and she said, I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. That's what I was like enough for me to be like, okay, whatever I'm investing in her is worth Mm. it. You know, I still want my fucking apology, though, mom. (laughs) (laughs) That time you beat me on my feet with the fucking back scrubber, like, I really want that. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ain't you. You want to know pain? Get whooped on the bottom of your feet. You can feel it in every organ of your entire body. I want her to apologize for that. Will she ever? I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I still can feel the pain when I think of it. It's like mm. it fucking hurts in my intestines. You know, I yeah. shit it on myself. It was bad. Yeah, but it 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 it. I understand pain. Uh, I understand what real hurt is and what people try to inflict on me on the internet or to try to destroy my name or destroy my career has n- it's nothing compared to the person the first person I ever loved. Mm-hmm. My mother is the first person I ever loved and the first person to destroy my soul, like destroy my heart. Mm-hmm. So anybody who don't know me and you want to talk shit about me, go for it. Yeah. yeah. You're making me more popular. You're introducing me to your 17 followers. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Go for it. Yeah, you yeah. can't hurt me no more than I've already been yeah, hurt. I think you might be causing me a emotional <laughs> breakdown. Because yeah. everything that you're saying is exactly the same thing I went through with my mom, where it's like, this. I could not... Un- it was so deep my love for her i i remember telling her like i could never love a boy more than i love you but she was the one person that just always made my mouth bleed always belittled me always did these things to just break me down as a child and that whole chasing the love thing just is perpetuated when you're an adult yeah you keep reenacting your childhood it's a it's a, it's a pattern and i think ultimately i always look back at her to see to see if there's some level of approval there you know and um and you're not maybe you'll never get an apology but you're not wrong about that apology he feeling like the most healing thing in the world right it is it and, and you know i don't I don't know if she'll ever apologize. And and that's another thing I had to learn, like, probably about five or six years ago. Like, I can't expect someone who hurt me to apologize. I have to apologize to myself first 
for allowing myself to even be in that situation because I think even I think you can remove yourself, especially now, like kids can call the police and they can be put in a different home immediately. So if if you're in a situation that is tumultuous, that is hurtful, that is bad, and you allow yourself to stay there, you have to apologize to yourself but first. But Tiffany, you're a child. Yeah, but... You're, it, it, you're a child. I know, but still. Yeah. But still, you know, yeah. I know you're a child and I don't know any you, better. You, you, were, you were in this situation, you were a victim and you're the innocent one right and it happened to you and you're a child and i don't see even when i was see that box right there mm -hmm. there's a box here bring move, him move. to me no don't bring no, him no, to me no. just show it see that's my dad mm -hmm. he died in mm -hmm. august mm -hmm. okay that dude used to beat me with golf clubs knock my mom's teeth out and a month ago my mom goes he 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 told me that he regrets how he re you know what i mean she told me right and i never got an apology for him and um I used to blame myself my whole life. Yeah. Right? Because I feel like I deserved it. I didn't deserve it. No. No, you we were innocent, right? Children. But and what? Look the the um the dog oh, on but top the, of it. You know what that is on top of it? I went I had to I don't know if you know, but in I had to go to an institution a month ago because I wanted to die. I know that feeling. Or I wanted to die. And so the when I went to the th therapy place in Arizona, they made me go to a Build-A-Bear and build my original child. Mm. So that's me, innocent Bobby Lee, I mean, with none of the trauma, just wanted to be nurtured and loved and all that stuff. That's what we are. Yeah. When we're born. Yeah. You know? But, but your did mom did make a star maker. Yeah. Well, she, 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 <laughs> she, she crushed it. Yeah. She killed crushed it. it. She killed it. Yeah. But that's she, a good but, line, though. My coochie makes stars. My coochie yeah, yeah, makes yeah, stars. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. When I met Matthew McConaughey, I asked him if his mom looks at him and goes, my pussy makes stars. <laughs> If you ever look at you and be like, look what my pussy did. He probably went, all right, all right. <laughs> was he nice? But yeah, he was super nice. He's yeah. like, I don't know if that's what she thinks, but I'm sure going to ask her. Like, yeah. <laughs> like, that dude, man. 